but I thought it would be useful to give a brief overview of who we are and what we do. So we're a, a joint working group of the AIMS and GLP uh, networks, which is um, the Analysis, Integration and Modeling of the Earth System Network and the Global Land Program. They're both parts of the Future Earth Network. And our overall goal is, is written here. It's to support the creation of the next generation of large-scale land use change models that take account of human behavior, agency, and decision-making processes. And we do this by fostering an active and cooperating community of socio-ecological system modelers. So we really um, aspire to be a, a, a real working group producing results by working together. And that's what we hope to support with our various activities. And we have um, done collaborative or individual work on a range of different issues connected with this objective, coupling models of different components of the land system, looking at different decision-making theories um, for individual decision-making, but also for larger scale institutional behavior in the land system. We've worked on um, interaction. Hello, Callum. Sorry, yes. uh, we, we can't, we still see the first slide, um, so it's... still see the first slide. Okay. It's in presenter mode rather than presentation. That's got it. Is that better? Yeah, now you're on slide two. Great. Sorry, everybody. Still making Zoom mistakes after two years. Um, so now you can see the text I was talking about. Um, these are our, our overall goal and some of the issues that we're exploring. I won't go back through them all because time is short, but uh, you can read faster than I can speak anyway. We're looking at a range of issues though, and, and I got about halfway down this list, um, links within social systems across communities, also links between land systems in the form of teleconnections in terms of trade, but also knowledge exchange, migration, and these other international processes. We're also, of course, interested in model evaluation against observational data and against other criteria and in particular at um, exploring future environmental impacts, future land system developments um, across the range of ecosystem functioning, biodiversity, food provision, and so on and so forth. So, so we have fairly general interests and lots of opportunities to get involved. This is the coordinating team. There are six of us um, running this working group. You're very welcome to get in touch with any one of us if you have questions or suggestions. Um, or if you want to, um, to get involved. There are also various activities that we welcome participation in. We have about 60 members at the moment, um, and we send out quarterly newsletters to these members, uh, as well as um, items in, in other uh, AIMS and GLP newsletters. We currently run a regular webinar series about three or four times a year as well as having these annual in-person or recently online uh, meetings. And we also have repositories for data, papers, and models for the working group to use. Um, and I just want to highlight at the moment, we have a special issue in the journal SESMO, which is open for submissions, and will stay open for another six months or so, uh, which is hopefully a good venue for uh, work that is related to this topic. So if you want any more information, then please look at our group's websites on the AIMS or GLP pages, and you can sign up there to become a member of the working group. And these links are also on the agenda that you have for these days. So the symposium today, um, as I said, it's great. We've had a, a lot of interest in the symposium, which is really encouraging. Uh, there have been 118 registrations, most within the past 48 hours from, I think, after a quick look through the, the forms, I think about 21 countries are represented and quite a range of disciplines too. Um, this bar chart is a, is a very crude summary of the, the main interests that you entered into the online form. And unsurprisingly that we have lots of modelers, but also people who listed their primary interests as climate related, environment, agricultural systems, purely human behavior and some economists. So lots of diversity in the audience today, and I hope that everybody will find something to interest them and, and get involved with. You have these, um, the agenda for these two days. 
the plan for, for today is to have some flash talks, some brief talks on recent work and plans um, related to large-scale behavioral modeling. We'll then have half an hour or so for general discussion um, at the end of that. And um, we have, of course, your input for the online forum to guide that discussion, and everybody's very welcome to bring in issues that they feel relevant as well. Tomorrow, we're planning a marketplace of ideas, which is a little bit um, less standard and a bit of an experiment online. The idea here is, here is that we have um, suggestions for topics that people can discuss, work together on, plan collaborations on, and we will give you all an opportunity to freely move between breakout rooms to discuss these issues tomorrow. I'll say a little bit more about that at the end of today's session.